There's something quietly powerful about tapping into forgotten gardening secrets that nature has been whispering for centuries. One such secret is a simple green liquid that you can pour right into your soil and watch your plants explode with growth. Without any synthetic chemicals or fancy fertilizers, this natural elixir harnesses the nutrients and life locked inside common plants and scraps, transforming them into a potent tonic for your garden's health. Today we'll explore exactly how to make this green liquid fertilizer, why it works so well, and how to use it for maximum impact. The beauty of this liquid fertilizer lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. For generations gardeners and farmers have made nutrient-rich plant teas and extracts by soaking and fermenting green plant material, kitchen scraps, and even seaweed in water. This process allows microbes to break down tough plant tissues, releasing essential nutrients, trace minerals and beneficial compounds directly into a form plants can readily absorb. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that feed plants with isolated nutrients, this green liquid feeds the whole soil ecosystem. It encourages beneficial microbes, fungi, and earthworms to thrive, improving soil structure and nutrient cycling naturally. Using this liquid regularly can lead to lush, vigorous growth and healthier, more resilient plants. Not every plant or scrap is created equal when it comes to making this fertilizer. Traditional gardeners have favored certain plants known for their nutrient density and beneficial properties. Weeds like dandelion, stinging nettle, and comfrey are superstar ingredients because they are rich in nitrogen, potassium, and micronutrients. These plants accumulate minerals from deep in the soil, making them a valuable resource. Kitchen scraps such as banana peels, coffee grounds, and vegetable scraps add diversity and extra nutrients. Seaweed, whether fresh or dried, is a powerful addition, especially for its trace minerals and growth hormones that stimulate plant roots. Even mature leaf mold or finished compost can be added to jumpstart the microbial population in the mix. Choosing ingredients free from pesticides or herbicides is essential to ensure you don't introduce harmful chemicals into your garden. Making this fertilizer is as straightforward as it is rewarding. Start by chopping any larger plant material into smaller pieces to speed up the breakdown process. Place your chosen ingredients into a large container or bucket and cover them completely with water. Adding a handful of mature leaf mold or compost at this stage can provide beneficial bacteria that help break down the materials more effectively. Alright, so, first things first. You want to cover the container loosely. This allows gases to escape, but, at the same time, it prevents debris or, you know, pesky insects from getting in. Over the next one to two weeks, you should stir the mixture every couple of days. This introduces oxygen and really helps with the decomposition process. As time goes on, you'll notice the water gradually darkening and developing a strong, earthy smell. That's a sure sign that the microbes are hard at work, transforming the ingredients. Once your mixture has steeped and is nice and rich and dark, it's time to strain out the solids. You can use a stick or a fine mesh sieve for this. The liquid you're left with is extremely concentrated, so it should be diluted before use. Typically, you'd go for a ratio of one part fertilizer to 10 parts water. This dilution ensures the solution nourishes without overwhelming your plants or soil. Now, when it comes to applying the diluted liquid, you want to do it directly at the base of your plants. Aim to soak the soil rather than just the leaves. This really helps feed the roots and encourages microbial activity in the soil. You should use this fertilizer weekly or bi-weekly during the growing season to see vibrant, robust growth. It's especially useful for vegetable gardens, container plants, and even fruit trees, you know. So, the secret to this green liquid's success, honestly, lies in the microbial activity it promotes. As plant material decomposes in water, Microbes release enzymes that break down complex organic compounds into simpler forms that plants can absorb. Nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, and magnesium become readily available. Moreover, these microbes themselves are, you know, super beneficial to soil health improving aeration nutrient retention and plant disease resistance. 
the presence of compounds like humic acids and growth hormones in the liquid further stimulate root development and plant vigor. It's a holistic approach that works with nature rather than against it. The steeping process can produce a strong odor due to anaerobic bacteria. This smell, though unpleasant, is normal and signals active fermentation. To minimize odor, just make sure you stir the mixture regularly to add oxygen or cover it loosely to allow gases to escape. Experimenting with different plant combinations and steeping times can help you tailor the fertilizer to your specific garden needs. For example, adding more nitrogen-rich plants like nettles will boost leafy growth, while more potassium-rich ingredients promote flowering and fruiting. Always ensure that the plants you collect have not been sprayed with chemicals. And you know, it's really important to avoid including diseased plant material or anything that could introduce pathogens to your garden. Using this green liquid fertilizer connects us to a tradition of sustainable gardening that predates synthetic inputs. It is a low-cost, low-waste way to harness the power of plants and microbes, turning everyday garden waste and wild plants into a potent source of nourishment. By adopting this practice, gardeners not only improve their soil and plants but also contribute to healthier ecosystems and reduced reliance on chemical fertilizers that can harm beneficial soil life and pollute water sources. Incorporating this forgotten green liquid fertilizer into your garden routine can revolutionize how your plants grow and how your soil performs. It's a simple, natural method with profound effects a testament to the power of working with nature's cycles. If you're ready to see your garden explode with health and vitality, give this method a try. Harvest weeds and scraps, steep them into liquid gold, and pour the results directly onto your soil. Your plants will thank you with lush leaves, abundant flowers, and bountiful harvests. If you found this guide valuable, please subscribe to Soil and Plant Doctor and share it with fellow gardeners, eager to grow healthy soil and thriving plants naturally. Together, we can return to nature's wisdom and nurture gardens that flourish for generations to come.